everybody! Welcome to the Top 10 Luxury Lifestyle Channel. Today, we're going to go over the Sergey Brin Billionaire Lifestyle 2021. Sergey Brin is an American entrepreneur and computer scientist known for creating the online search engine Google with another student, Larry Page. Today, Google is one of the most successful searching platforms on the Internet. Brin was born in August 1973 in Moscow, Russia, USSR. His family moved to America when he was six years old. This American business magnet and Internet entrepreneur has a real-time net worth of $100 billion, and currently he is the ninth richest person in the world, his personal wealth exceeding $86.5 billion, or 63.2 billion pounds. Mr. Brin's father was a mathematician, and that's why he developed such an extraordinary aptitude when solving math problems. His father tutored him at home and passed on his knowledge and analytical skills and infused interest in computer technology in him. That's the step that led to the creation of Google later. Bryn received degrees in mathematics and computer science from the University of Maryland in 1993 and entered Stanford University's graduate program. That's where he met Larry Page, a fellow graduate student. Both became friends due to their shared interest in computers. They were intrigued by the idea of extracting meaning from the vast amount of data accumulated on the Internet. They started working on their project from Page's dorm room. It was a project to devise an innovative new search technology leveraging the ranking abilities of web users by tracking backlinks of each website. This means they wanted to make use of the number of other pages that were linked to them. This search engine became so important for Brin and Page that after receiving a master's degree in 1995, Brin decided to pause his Stanford doctorate program to focus on it. By mid-1998, the duo received funding from outside investors and raised around $1 million from family, friends, and investors. The name of their search engine, Google, is merely a misspelled version of the original name, Google, which is a mathematical term for number one, followed by 100 zeros. That's the year when Google Incorporated was officially established as a corporation, and Brin became the technology president of the company. Within one year, Google received $25 million of venture capital funding and processed over 500,000 queries daily. Until 2004, Google was led by Page, Brin, and Eric Schmidt, and the searching capacity of the platform increased to 200 million per day. That's 138,000 queries each minute. In August 2004, Google Incorporated issued its initial public offering that netted over $3.8 billion for Sergey Brin. The company was flourishing well, and by 2006, it was able to make new acquisitions. So Google acquired YouTube in 2006. It was the most popular user-submitted streaming video platform on the Internet and was bought for $1.65 billion. Later, the company intensely expanded its service domain and moved beyond Internet search. In April 2011, Brin stepped down as technology president and became the director of special projects. In 2015, Google was reorganized and became a subsidiary of Alphabet Incorporated. It was a newly launched holding firm, and Sergey Brin was its president, a post he held until December 2019. Currently, he serves on Alphabet's board of directors. The Google co-founder is still quite ambitious and wants to expand his business, so he is setting up a family office in Singapore. In fact, many super-rich tycoons are opening up family offices in the financial hub of Asia, including British magnet Sir James Dyson. Brin's family office is called Bayshore Global Management, which was inspired by the area where Google's headquarters are located in California's Mountain View, called North Bayshore. It was established in Singapore in 2020. The billionaire seems to be eager to take advantage of Singapore's tax relaxations and generous incentives for super-wealthy families of billionaires as the country offers several exemptions to private investment firms. It is also one of the world's most accessible places to do business, and the World Bank ranked it number two in Asia. Sergey Brin married entrepreneur and biotech analyst Ann Wojcicki in May 2007. Their wedding was held in the Bahamas, and the couple had two kids, a son Benji, born in 2008, and a daughter Chloe, born in late 2011. Sadly, they separated in August 2013 and finalized their divorce in 2015. Rumor has it that Brin's extramarital affair with Amanda Rosenberg, Google Class's marketing director, was the reason behind their divorce. 
Despite getting divorced, they continue to run the Bryn Wojcicki Foundation and have donated extensively to the Michael J. Fox Foundation. In 2009, they jointly donated $1 million to the Hebrew Immigrant Aid Society. Bryn remarried in 2018. His second wife, Nicole Shanahan, is a legal tech founder. Mr. Bryn is pro-Democratic Party and regularly donates to their affiliated organizations and candidates. During ex-President Barack Obama's re-election campaign, Sergey Bryn donated $5,000 and $30,800 to the DNC. He is also interested in blockchain technology. Reportedly, he developed this interest after building a gaming computer with his son Benji to mine Ethereum. The talk of the town, however, is that the Alphabet co-founder is building a secretive airship. It is called LTA Research and Exploration, where LTA is an abbreviation for lighter than air. This airship will be an eco-friendly vehicle inspired by the massive U.S. Navy airship USS Macon, built in the 1930s. However, LTA will be dedicated to delivering humanitarian aid around the world. Bryn's Project LTA got its start inside the Ames Research Center in NASA in 2017, but the idea to build a zero-emission aircraft was conceived back in 2014 after Bryn visited the Ames Research Center. In 2017, LTA paid $131,000 to lease a hangar space from Alphabet, located at a NASA airfield close to the Ames, called Moffett Field. The airship will be 200 meters long, which is equivalent to two football fields in length. Comparatively, the infamous Hindenburg Zeppelin was 245 meters long. According to sources, LTA is being funded by Sergey Brin himself, and the expected investment is over $100 million. We still don't know how much the billionaire has spent on this project, but what we do know is that its only purpose will be to bring food and supplies to the remotest areas of the world, primarily because airships do not need a dedicated airport to land and can reach inaccessible areas much quicker than cargo ships. The LTA will produce up to 90% fewer emissions compared to traditional aircraft. The prototype is already in its final phase. It is called Pathfinder and is powered by lithium-ion batteries and 12 electric motors and can transport 14 passengers. This project shows the deep interest Bryn has in aviation. And that's nothing new because back in 2005, along with Google co-founder Larry Page, Bryn purchased a Boeing 767-200. It is a wide-body jet, dubbed Google Jet. Initially, it could carry 180 passengers at a time, but the pair got it refurbished, and now it accommodates up to 50 passengers. It serves as the duo's executive jet. Bryn oversaw the development of different aircraft during his time at Google's Moonshot Lab, called X. The X projects included Loon, which delivered internet connectivity via balloons, a drone delivery project called Wing, and Makani, an innovative project to provide electricity through kites. Loon and Makani are no longer active. The American entrepreneur lives in a cozy mansion in Los Altos, spread over 6,000 square feet of land. This eco-friendly mansion has all possible luxuries imaginable, and reportedly the land alone cost Bryn $7 million. Bryn also owns a 3,500-square-foot house in Greenwich Street, New York. He purchased it for $8.5 million. It's a penthouse located in Manhattan's poshest West Village neighborhood. This is a four-bedroom, three-and-a-half bathroom apartment featuring a massive 23-foot-long balcony and limestone bathrooms with heated floors. The home's main floor has two bedrooms. The master bedroom has a large private bathroom with a private terrace, an attached half bathroom, and a wet bar. As per recent estimates, this penthouse apartment would be worth at least $11.5 million now. That's because Greenwich Village is home to many Hollywood A-lister celebrities, including Emma Stone, Uma Thurman, Julianne Moore, and Philip Seymour Hoffman, and influential personalities such as ex-president George W. Bush's daughter, Barbara Pierce Bush. Bryn jointly owns a Dornier Alpha fighter jet with his colleague, Larry Page. This superjet was designed by Francis de Salt Breguet and Germany's Dornier. It boasts a staggering 29-foot, 11-inch wingspan and is 13 feet, 9 inches tall. The jet is equipped with numerous scientific instruments that can provide atmospheric data. The Google co-owner has a passion for sports cars and drives a Tesla Roadster. This is one of the best sport cars around for those looking for a combination of a sports car and an EV. 
With tremendous acceleration and the capability to go from 0 to 60 miles per hour in 4 seconds, the Roadster is no less than a beast. But it is an incredibly lightweight car, as it weighs a little over 2,700 pounds. It runs on a lithium-ion battery. Apart from the mighty Roadster, Bryn also owns a Toyota Prius. He seems to have a penchant for solid yet lightweight vehicles. Toyota Prius is known for its incredible speed, delivering a top speed of 100 miles per hour in 11.7 seconds. The Prius is the first mass-produced hybrid vehicle in the world and has been in production since 2000. It is one of the most reliable, emission-free automobiles created for the masses. Sergey Brin also owns a luxury superyacht named Dragonfly. He bought this 240-foot-long yacht in 2011 for a whopping $80 million. It's the world's fastest superyacht equipped with a dance floor and an open-air cinema. So, what do you have to say about the luxurious lifestyle of Google co-owner Sergey Brin? If you like this video, please hit like and share it with your friends. To learn more exclusive facts about your favorite personalities and luxury items, please subscribe to this channel. Until next time!